Man! Man! Look here, man! How you doing? How you be, man? I just woke up. So I'm kinda... I'm in a loop! I'm in a loop. 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 I'm in a loop. Loop. Okay. 200 damage! 202 to be exact my friend 202 not 200 not 201 202 damage on a fire wizard with max power pip and max accuracy you see it here folks this is how you do it as you can see i'm rocking 198 damage 32 accuracy with a 95 power plant. Now you might be wondering, why well, you know the videos are about 202 damage? Why do you have 198 if you're making a video about 202 damage? Did you lie to us, Mo? Was it clickbait, Mo? No, it wasn't clickbait. I'm just too poor to open up a whole bunch of gulcher packs and get the fire gulcher. Now, if you were to have a fire gulcher, you will be at 201 damage with 32 accuracy and 95 power pip. Well, Schmo, the video is about 202 damage, Schmo, not 201. What are you doing, Schmo? Listen! Listen! If you equip the executive thermal ring that gives you an extra damage versus the director ring, you will get 202 damage. You will lose that circle slot. But you will get 202 damage. As you can see, I'm rocking 199 plus 3% damage from the fire gulcher and 32 accuracy with, of course, the 95 power pip. Now, my entire gear set is Dragoon Fiery Helmet with the Royal Fuchsia's dress code with the Dragoon Fiery Boots. I'm rocking the Fossil Adventure Skull Crusher. I got the pet with the all damage for the set bonus with the Fossil Adventure set bonus. I'm rocking the Edge of the Shadow Web of same morgan of the same i'm rocking the dragon amulet to finish off that dragoon set bonus and i'm rocking the executive thermal ring and as for my deck i'm rocking a divine paradox deck with 13 accuracy uh saga it to that bad boy so i can get 32 accuracy it's a foolproof setup a foolproof plan okay foolproof so if you guys want to go out there and rock 200 201 202 damage with max accuracy and max power pip pretty much max power pip this is the way to do it now however i know some shitters in the comments are gonna be like whoa schmo you're rocking 95 power pip schmo that's not 100 percent power pip schmo you clickbaited us schmo you lied to us schmo shut up 95 is close enough to 100 for you to not power pip fail but you're one of those plebs out there that really, really want a 100% power pip. Here's what you can do. Instead of rocking the edge of the Shadow Web, you can rock the edge of the Raging Daystar. The edge of the Raging Daystar gives you two more uh, power pip percentage. You do lose 1% damage, but you gain 2% power pip, and you also gain 2% accuracy. So you can rock this bad boy instead. You will still achieve over 200 damage if you have the Fire Gulcher. So if I were to have the Fire Gulcher, I'll be at 201 damage. I have 34 accuracy with... 97 power pip and then the big boy shaders will be like well schmo there's 97 power pip not 100 schmo you're still lying to us look here man if you really really want 100 percent power pip go get the rock mount from the sultan the freaking whatever you get the sinbad one go get the mount from the sinbad gauntlet and get three percent extra power pip with the mount so you can have 100 percent power pip you won't get over 198 damage but you'll have 100 percent power pip like you want but yeah that's pretty much the setup i'm gonna go over it again for the people that were in the back i got the dragoon fiery helmet the dragoon boots with the dragoon amulet for the entire dragon set bonus i'm rocking the fossil avengers skull crusher one with the fossil avengers pet that has all damage for the set bonus for uh the skull avengers crusher thing i'm rocking the royal fleecer's dress code you get this from the yellow type pack which I believe is still out as we are talking right now. Let me check it. Uh, yeah, it is still out. Um, it's this one, not the morning one, the regular Yuta type pack. This is the one that you're going to need to open to get the Royal Fuchsia's dress code. Warning, it did take me a long time to get this Royal Fuchsia's dress code. Like, it took me a lot. It took me about 50 bucks worth of crowns to get the thing, all right? So, if you if you got $50, then go for it. But if you're a broke boy like I was, it's still am, 
then I recommend you not go for it because you're gonna spend a bunch of money trying to get this thing unless you're lucky you now maybe, maybe you're lucky and you get it on the first try but I don't know um I'm rocking the edge of the raging day star or you can use the edge of the shadow web either one works um just keep in mind the power pip and accuracy and the damage that's really all that matters and as for the ring I'm rocking the executive thermal ring or you can rock the director's thermal ring I usually rock the director's thermal ring so I can get that extra six percent pierce because I really like pierce as you see all my things have pierce socketed on it the dragoon the you know, except this one because great. But yeah, anyways, I'm rocking the Divine Paradox deck and I'm socketed accuracy on there. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much finishes the entire set. There you go. A fire wizard with 202 damage, max accuracy, and max power pill. If you guys didn't know, I go live on Twitch just about every single day. Uh, you can check me out. I go live between the times of 7 and 9. That's when I start my streams. 7 p.m. EST through 9 p.m. EST. I go live every day. Twitch.tv slash mojo underscore YT. So it would be amazing if you guys checked it out. Um, and yeah, have a great day. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. And yeah, have a great day. Bye-bye.